Ah, oh, what's this we have here, ladies and gentlemen? Let's see what we have here. Oh, what are those? Those look like some Boost Par 30 LED lights. Nah, can't be. Yeah, it is, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, if you see my unboxing video, here are the Boost Par 30 lights. Um, in action, I've got the I bought the uh, reef lamp clamp that they sell. Okay, so pretty cool. It's all bendable. You can bend it to as high and low as you want, uh, side to side. Any you know, you can just it's it's been bendable. It's kind of like a Gumby. I don't know if you guys remember Gumby those toys. Uh, you know, pretty much like that. You can just bend it any way you like. Clamps onto the back with these nylon type screws it's got a handle over here okay so cord comes up the bottom and you just clamp it on and tighten it up with these screws here kinda wish the screws were black um, to blend in with uh, you know my background and you know the the clamp itself but no big deal right now I'm sure if uh, uh, John from Boost LED, if you're watching this, there's a suggestion for you. Um, see if you can get those made in black. That would be awesome. Um, and I'd like a couple sets of them when <laughs> when and if you do. Um, so the, the water's kind of foggy right now because I just threw some salt in. But you can see, so what you're seeing right now kind of looks like a spotlighting effect. But uh, in person, that's not what I'm getting at all. Okay, lots of shimmer um, so I just it's kind of foggy right now because I just uh, threw some salt in to mix up so let's take a look at what it looks like with the new aquascape okay so that that uh, Korea powerheads not stained in there um, it's just to help mix up but uh, got my vortex pump in there working its magic so let's look at the uh, aquascape I chose and as you can see it's really close to the glass but that doesn't matter because I have my nimble nano and uh, <laughs> it's gonna get through anything so um, yeah so kinda thought this aquascape out a little more than the last ones and I put that rock in the middle out jetting out um, probably can do a zoanthic garden or like a recordia garden something like that but uh, I can already see on video you're not getting the you know the proper effect of the LEDs um, they're a lot bluer than what you're seeing um, and there's no spotlight effect in my tank um, so two of them are actually good, pretty good coverage uh, with 60 degree optics. Um, I will be able to keep anything, any SPS, anything in this tank. So that's good. Um, I may add a third one down the road. But uh, very, very happy with these guys. <laughs> they look awesome. And, you know, once the water uh, clears up, it looks even better. Um, I it's all again it's all foggy because of uh, the salt uh, there's no substrate in here as of yet tomorrow I get that delivered I'm going with the Carib C uh, special grade seafloor that'll help with my uh, Vortec pump I before my tank got nuked um, I had the sugar fine sand and it just blew everywhere with the Vortec I had to keep the Vortec on a very low um, power in order to stop it from doing that uh, so I've kind of got the uh, heater kind of somewhat hidden in the back there I don't mind it showing a little bit but uh, yeah so I just hooked up the reef keeper and uh, you know played around with that updated the my reef 2.0 software updated the software on the reef keeper been meaning to do that but I uh, kind of just want to give you guys a first look
uh, what I'll be working with. So, yeah, very awesome, guys. Very little heat output from these. They're running at 10 watts a piece. So 20 watt total, whereas my uh, T5HO was 96 watts. And uh, I'll be able to uh, keep much more under these lights. So very, very good power consumption. Um, not to mention uh, these are rated at like 50,000 hours. So what's that, like 10 years at 10 hours a day or something like that? It's it's quite a bit. And they still the light still doesn't burn out. You just lose your, uh, your power, like your spectrum and stuff like that. Um, from the light so you know after it's you know after you start to see your par levels and like your spectrums go down you can always just use these to light something else up like a fish only tank or something you know like so um, you can find these on uh, boostled.com's website um, they are $104.99 I believe for the light and the clamp um, it's better buy them that way, or you, for the ball balloon you'll pay sixty nine ninety nine and thirty nine ninety nine for the uh, the clamp fixture. So uh, definitely better to get it in the uh, the package deal. Um, and I know they're pretty much out of everything right now. Last time I spoke with John, one of the owners, or the owner, um, he's hoping to get stuff in very soon. Um, but, uh, he'll, you know, if you contact him, he'll put you on like a list and, and, uh, get back to you once, uh, stuff is back in stock. But, uh, they've been selling very, very good guys. They just sold everything, all their stock that they have. And, uh, so they're getting geared up and waiting for some new stuff to come in. So, um, again, I'm using 60 degree optics, uh, 40 degree optics would, would give me more of a spotlight effect. Uh, and I could have gone with three of them at 40 degrees, but uh, two at 60, uh, because my tank is only 12 inches deep, um, 60 degree optics will work for me. If you have a, a tank, you know, between 16 or up inches deep, I would definitely suggest 40 degree optics. Okay, so, um, but 60 degree optics will work for a 12 inch deep tank. So I will uh, leave you guys with that. Stay tuned for some more videos. Um, as I mentioned, I get my uh, substrate tomorrow. And um, also going to be moving on to a new type of salt, uh, which I'll start using when I do my water changes. Uh, it's called Royal Nature. Got a great deal on a big bucket of it. Um, and it's pretty darn close to the H2 Ocean salt. So, um, you know, it's it's actually... Many people have been raving about saying it's better, but uh, it's the same process, made the same way. I think it even comes from Israel or somewhere like that. Um, so, a little bit cheaper than the DTO, DD Ocean uh, Pro Salt as well. So, if anybody's looking to uh, change salt, maybe look into the Royal Nature Salt. And uh, that's all for now, guys. Take care, and happy reefing.